Have you ever tried to look for original games on Roblox but ended up with this garbage? It's not just you. Most of the games featured on Roblox's front page seem to just be the equivalent of fake mobile game ads, even though there are other games that are brimming with quality and passion. Yet Roblox just ignores most of these hidden gems, which eventually become forgotten and abandoned. So to prevent that, instead of having to dig through the front page trash pile, today I'll show you, my viewer, these hidden gems so these quality games won't get forgotten. First one we got... Neon Knights. This is for you all who have an itch yet to be satisfied by a roguelike shooter game on Roblox. Neon Knights is a third person shooter with unlockable weapons, customizable avatars, and a story taking place in a dystopian cyber world. One of the first things you'll instantly notice about this game when you first start playing is its incredible polish. I mean, that is to be expected from the team that also made Boost Factor. I'm not saying that any other hidden gems in this cave don't have as much quality, but this one really takes the cake. Especially when you take into account that this game barely reaches over 200 players. Also, it's free. I can't stress the amount of passion and sweat I see the dev team put into this game. The maps, its atmosphere, and I couldn't help myself to admire the game's scenery and structures while I was playing. Why is there a jackhammer in my room? And the gameplay itself? Smooth like butter. The shooting and attacks feel incredibly solid, and the simple dashing mechanic of just pressing a spacebar to instantly dash in whatever direction you're running at really helps simplify the game's mechanics instead of having to worry about 100 million other controls. But do be careful of the crowds of enemies you'll sometimes find yourself in. And again, this game is free. It used to cost around 300 Robux, but now you're not even paying a penny for a previously premium price game. And though you are able to buy in-game currency and the game having some form of gambling to get some weapons, any microtransaction features feel practically non-existent in this game compared to other games where they shove purchase prompts in your face every 10 seconds. Plus, you'd be supporting the developers for a game that actually has effort and soul put into it. And while I can go on an hour-long tangent about the characters, make sure to check out this absolute gem of a game. It barely gets around 200 players, and it sucks to see amazing games like these go under the radar. I'd be in deep trouble if I didn't talk about this. Do I even have to say the name? This game is basically the child of Payday 2 and Hitman, in a very good way. Entry Point is a first-person shooter game revolving around the underground criminal world with a war between two organizations, Hilcian and Phoenix. You play as a protagonist, aka the freelancer, aka the 1100 codenames depending on what you choose for your character. Do crime, commit some tomfoolery, I don't know. This game already has a fully fleshed out storyline with 9 unlockable missions you can go through after completing each one, and to beat the missions, you're presented with two options. Take the of a stealthy assassin, knocking out guards, using disguises to blend in and avoid being detected, even though your character probably has the character design of a Jojo villain, and successfully exfiltrate as if you were never there. Or just busting guns ablazing with your friends, which, let's be honest, not much of us have. One important note for new people, and from what I've experienced from my long time playing this game, is that stealth is the much more intended method of playing this game, with some of the hardest badges to obtain requiring stealth and no killing. Also, there's different classes, the skill tree, classes once you advance enough to the skill tree, a large arsenal of weapons and items that each have their own uses, and I could go on a longer rant for ages about this game and talk about all its mechanics and its massive storyline, but there's lots of other games to cover. One final thing to note is that this game has been in development since 2018, and since then, the solo developer, Sashado, has deemed the game fully finished, meaning you have the rare opportunity to experience the game the way it's intended by its developer. But make sure to give it a shot. It's a fully completed game with cool stealth mechanics, a huge story, and has less than a thousand players playing it at all times. Microwave Dinner. This game just makes you happy. No, this game will make anyone smile when playing this. Microwave Dinner is a 3D platformer where you collect food items in the world map to unlock specific levels where then you can obtain microwave dinners. With those, you can power up your fridge ship to travel to new worlds. One of the most important features about this in 3D games is its movement abilities. You got jumps, crouchings, Uber Eats mode, diving, hovering, and gliding, which allows for lots of unique level designs that play around these abilities while pairing that with puzzle mechanics. From exploring around the cute, detailed world map, to talking to its characters, playing the levels, and with its movement abilities, it's something anyone can easily pick up, and allows practically anyone of any age to enjoy this game. Another cherry on top is that so many Roblox games nowadays must have some sad, lonely, dark story of some sort, which isn't bad, there's just a bit too much of it on the platform. But this little microwave is just someone who wants to warm up this kids cuisine microwave meal. But overall, this is a wonderful, cute game to play time to time, and for those who have already played it, did you know this game was updated in October with a new world map, new levels, mechanics, and movement abilities? I sure didn't, and it did not disappoint. Go check it out. You like chaos? This is for you.
Fighting, an awesome video game, is a team-based third-person fighting game, who could've guessed, with primarily three class types, melee, ranged, and support, with the 13 unique characters you can play as. Each character has three abilities and an ultimate ability, called a finisher, but that's where all order goes away, because this game gets seriously chaotic. So far, there's only two game modes, technically three, Annihilate, Team Deathmatch, beat up more people than the other team, and Conquer, the King of the Hills, stand inside of an area longer than the opponent. However, there is a third game mode you can actually access in private servers called Escort, but I'll be a bit honest, when I was first introduced to fighting, it was okay, I guess. I definitely like playing a support character like Medic, yeah. but I really wasn't all that much into the game, until I replayed it recently, like a lot. That's when I first found out that Medkit got a rework, yes. and I don't know if I'm being stalked right now because that is a 10 out of 10 character design for me, especially that revolver, that, that is that is freaking cool. Unfortunately, I suck at playing Medkit because you need yeah. a head headshots, but with my newfound interest for fighting, I started to play other classes, which I had a blast playing. Rocket was one of my second picks. Lo and behold, he wields a rocket launcher. But one of my favorite parts about it is its finisher, where Rocket just nukes the entire map. Then we got Sword. Though the character has a much more simpler kit compared to the essay long descriptions for the abilities for other characters, to me, Sword feels like a very solid and reliable melee character, with high damage and close range, but also basic yet effective mobility options. And while trying out all the other characters, I I'd say there is a playstyle for everyone who wants to give this game a shot. You like characters that can go stupidly fast across the map and beat up any of the backline characters? Give Skateboard a try. You like heavy hitting damage and Beyblades? Go for Banhammer. You like one-shotting people and calling a skill issue? Go for Hyperlades. Overall, fighting takes the team fight formula and makes it work with Roblox with their own unique twist. But also, I just really like the stupid chaos the game throws in my face. Also, I just want to give an absolute applause to the developers. This is probably one of the funnest games I played in this video. And though there has been a new surge of popularity thanks to videos like these, this game deserves far more than a thousand players just for its quality and content alone. Also the most banger soundtrack I have ever heard. Go check it out. However, with these four, there are a ton of more games I would have loved to talk about if I had more time, like Arcane Odyssey, Steep Steps, Ready to Die, RPG Elevator, Roblox Square, and a ton more I can't even list. But those are for later, and I hope you enjoyed all the games I listed in this video.